Uh, hello, my name is uh, Mr. Prettyman, and I'm going to begin giving you kind of an introduction of what we do here at Cole Valley Christian School uh, in regards to junior high science. We figure we sh probably should start with some Bible verses, and uh, we in the science department have the advantage that uh, the Bible actually tells us to study science. Uh, and so it makes our job really easy. So uh, a couple of verses, um, Psalm 19, one and two, says the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech, night after night, they reveal knowledge. So look at all these action words in here, right? The, the heavens declare, the skies are proclaiming, um, they're pouring forth speech, they're constantly telling us uh, who God is, who the creator of the universe is is and all we have to do is listen and look uh, and it makes science very easy uh, all we have to do to uh, learn more about god uh, is just look outside look at nature look at technology and the amazing things that that god has created um, because they are they are constantly telling us more about um, god if we're willing to to listen uh, another verse, Romans 1.20, says, From the beginning, creation in its magnificence enlightens us to his nature. Creation itself makes his undying power and divine identity clear, even though they are invisible. And I like this, this last line especially because um, God is invisible. He is a spirit. We can't see him uh, with our, our own eyes but uh, it says that we can see him through what he's created, that his fingerprint is on creation uh, and it makes it clear. Uh, it's very obvious to us if we're willing to look. Um, and just like Bible, Bible study, uh, if you read your Bible, uh, you'll grow, but if you dig down and really investigate the Bible, uh, then that's where growth really starts to happen. Um, same thing with science is that we can go outside into nature and see God. It's, it's clear and plain for us to see. Uh, but if we, if we learn more and investigate creation more, uh, then we learn more about God. And investigating creation is what science is, is all about. Uh, we use microscopes and dissections and explosions and things um, to just investigate creation. Uh, and the way that God has created this, this universe. Uh, let me give you sort of a science experiment um, or magic. I like doing magic, um, so a lot of experiments are just, are just magic tricks. Um, but this is the magic tube of science. Uh, and as you can see, it's, it's got a string. Uh, and as we all know, strings have two ends. So here's one end of the string, and here's the other end of the string. And if I pull on the other end, then the string goes through. And that makes sense. And we can just pull both sides of this all day long. Um, you know, no, no trick here. It's just, just a string inside of a, of a tube. The trick comes when we add in a third end to the string, because now we've got a string that has three different ends. And that's not really how strings are supposed to work. And in fact, we can actually add in a fourth side of this string. And now we've got four different ends to this, to this string inside of this tube. And there, that's where the question comes. We see something out in nature and we ask, how does that work? That doesn't seem to make sense with what I know right now. How is that, how is that working on the inside? And that's where we can, uh, through the scientific process, dig down and investigate, explore, and try and figure out. Because uh, this magic tube of science, I can, I can just open it up, look inside, and figure out um, how it works. But when we look at things like the human body or stars out in space, uh, it's a bit harder to just open them up and look at how they work, right? Um, and so we use the scientific process to make uh, deductions, to, to look at clues and evidence and try, and try and reason out how did God make this work? How did God make gravity work? Or how did God make um, the different forces of nature work? Uh, and so we get to do things like this uh, all the time in, in junior high science. So you're probably wondering what are we actually um, doing sort of in a day-to-day -day, uh, mode of science. So in seventh grade, we, we focus on the things that God has created, uh, especially life and biology, um, looking at cells and organisms and ecosystems and how God has created life and uh, how he created the earth. 
Uh, we we kind of say that we start from the ground up and we go from uh, the tectonic plates and earthquakes and volcanoes and mountains and rivers and then we move up into the sky and talk about the weather and then we look up into space and talk about how do the planets and, and stars and things in, in space work. Uh, and so that's kind of our focus in seventh grade. In eighth grade, we take a step back kind of behind the scenes to look at how do those things interact with each other? What makes up those those things. Uh, and so we call this physical science, this is chemistry, the little atoms of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen that God has put together to form everything that we see. Uh, and physics, the way that the, those things move. Physics is the study of energy and, and motion especially, and so um, we look at how do those things move around and, and transfer energy from one thing to another. Uh, both years in, in middle school, we have science electives. Uh, they kind of change every year, but they're all focused on some sort of STEM uh, out, uh, program, uh, whether that's engineering focused and building things, building little houses or bridges or rockets uh, or, or something else. Uh, we always have extra science if that's something that you're interested in. So that seems like a lot. That's four different sciences in just two short years. Uh, and so the, the goal here uh, is that we would give you um, sort of an introduction to the language of science. So that way when you get into high school or college or out into the world, um, that you have at least heard of a cell and kind of know what it, what it looks like and how it operates. Uh, that you kind of know some chemistry to be able to talk uh, in a way that, that you can continue growing in high school and in college. Uh, and to help you find places that you're interested in and maybe not interested in. Uh, maybe dissections uh, are something that you're really interested in. You wanna get in there and, and pull a, a frog apart and see what all things uh, are going on in there. And maybe that doesn't sound as good for you. Maybe that, that sounds really gross and you do not want to dissect things. Uh, we use seventh and eighth grade science to um, sort of show you where, what am I really interested in? What things maybe do I not want to do when I'm in high school? Uh, when you have more choice and flexibility to um, kind of do what, what you want to do. Uh, so in high school, uh, ninth grade, you take biology. That's the, the state requirement. Uh, and so you'll take biology in, in ninth grade. And then in 10th uh, through 12th grades, you get to kind of choose your own adventure, what things are, are interesting to you. So maybe you like that behind the scenes, sort of, you know, looking at the really tiny little bits of of, and pieces of science uh, in chemistry and physics. And so we offer uh, full year classes in those, as well as uh, AP classes, uh, which are college level classes that you can actually get college credit for. Uh, maybe dissections and, and biology really interested you. And so we have a, a college level biology class as well, uh, as well as things like environmental solutions, where we uh, take a environmental problem such as like a forest fire and you use your engineering skills to try and solve that problem and, and fix that in some way. Uh, maybe you're interested in doing something medical. Maybe you want to be a nurse or a doctor or a vet or something like that. Um, in, in addition to biology, we have some uh, like health related classes and medical related classes. So anatomy and physiology, you learn all the bones and muscles and parts of your body and how they all work together. Uh, medical terminology, again, very similar thing. So we've got a, a track of classes for uh, people who are interested in, in medical fields. Uh, and maybe you really like the STEM part, the building, the engineering side of science. And so we've got applied science, which is like bridge building and things like that. Uh, we've got robotics, we've got computer languages and programming, uh, if that's something that you're interested in. And so uh, middle school science seems like a lot of different things uh, and it's a lot of fun because we're constantly changing what, what we're talking about and learning about um, with this in mind, that, that when you get to high school, uh, you don't go into a class that you don't want to take, that you can choose um, what, what kind of sciences you want to pursue and, and learn more about uh, and how you want to learn more about God through that. So we look forward to uh, having you here and, and uh, investigating God and, and his creation um, together. Uh, if you have any questions or, or want to know more, um, go to the, the website uh, and there's ways that you can get in contact with us. So we look forward to hopefully having you join the family here.